We are caninely connected, but whole breeds apart, born stunted and weak with limited vision. Your behaviour blinded towards this friendly bloodhound, but you've come to expect round-the-clock attention. Smothered in your comfort zone blanket of love, so your mother can continue to lick you to death, whilst always on hand to clear up your mess. They hoped you'd attain a pedigree class, but your imposter smart sheepdog disguise revealed to me you're just an average mutt in sheep's clothing. Dog shit lies. To protect you from the rest of the pack, thrown off the scent so they won't bite back. You should be kept on a leash, you don't socialise well, you can play along but you don't play kind, irritating whines of if only this and I'm so unlucky, little yappy snaps at the expense of others, yesterday's harmless pup, now today's grown up pest. Unwanted and as irritating as the fleas on your back, You've developed a nasty dog-eat-dog -dog habit as you deliberately piss on my new welcome mat. So stop barking up the wrong family tree. You're old enough to slip out of your collars and chains, otherwise you'll repeat the same. Worn out tricks your father taught you, I suspect faulty genes from his paternal side, passed down through a generation or two. Along with bad, misguided puppy training, which always taught you to talk the talk, but never ever to walk the walk. I could have taken you under my paw and shared my fun Kong toys, licked your wounds and showed you new paths to explore. We could have become tail wagging buddies, but now you've bitten my hand that could have fed you. You can teach this old dog new tricks because I have big ears and like to listen. I'm a hound trained to sniff out this bullshit, but your head is infected, so too late to be corrected. Alas, your fur has grown very coarse over the years. The true dull ugly nature of your breed is snarlingly clear. Although it's never really come much as a surprise, so to me, you're always the runt in disguise.